let's make the test uh, to check whether at the end of a step uh, the uh, no f no animal in the field um, is not present in the simulator's list. Okay, this is the test. Oh, it has private access, right?
there needs to be an accessor. Mm. I think you need to create an accessor for the field. Okay. Uh, yes, I should use now get the field. Oh, okay, so I should do something like. Uh, uh, should I do them to get the uh, objects? Oh yeah, something like this. Well, these two have private access. Oh, there is this get object add. Cool. 
course you have to initialize it. We have that and uh, read our private. Mm. Oh, here they are. Get that and get rid. Oh, yes, yeah, so, so these have private access. So there are no accessory methods for that. Is the least of Okay, so now let's test. It failed. In fact, it should be false because um, no, I think that the field uh, doesn't contain dead animals. It only contains alive animals. So, Okay, the test is this one. 
to see if the field animals are contained in the simulator lists. And they should. Because I think uh, the lists contain both dead and uh, alive animals, while the fields contain only alive animals. So, this should uh, work. Oh, but the problem is that I'm also trying to find null in there because some places in the field don't contain any animal. So maybe I should correct like this if this is equal to now. I mean, if it's not equal to now, then I can proceed on doing this. Well, okay, the parentheses. Let's test again. Okay, now it's true. So basically, any animal in the field is in the uh, simulator list. That's how it should be. Okay, so I w was checking for. Uh, Null to be present in the list, which is not. Now uh, the author test will be to test uh, whether uh, no animal in the simulator lists is not present in the field animal. So it's the opposite of the first test. Um, so test simulator lists animal animals maybe in Now, how should I change this? Mm. So I should use the same loop that's here. Okay, just copy this. Thank you. 
Okay, let me do it step by step. Now we should check that uh, this is present in the field. Mm. Well, the only thing I can do, I think, is that to also iterate inside here. Through the field. So now what should we do? Um, so it's the same anyway. Okay. 
Okay, so if box um Should we do reference equality or instance equality? I think reference. Uh, it should be found equals true. So I should have so it should have um, pull. Fox. Now the same for rabbit.
Mm, I'm not sure this is the correct way. Mm. So basically I'm going through each of the steps, each of the rabbits in the field and I should make sure that all of the rabbits in the field are in the no. no, 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 so I, what I'm doing is that I'm going through all the so first uh, iterating oh, it's um, I iterate over all the uh, rabbits and I check if they are in the field. If there is no rabbit, then if there is no rabbit in the list of rabbits, if the rabbit's list is empty, what you should do? Wait. So, if the list of rabbits if the list of rabbits is empty then the test should succeed. Mm. Right. Aha, uh -huh. so this is what sh oh, they should put. Okay.
So now if I find the animal in the list in the Oh wait, if I find... So basically I'm checking that each of the animals that are in the list are also in the field. So the assert equals should go into for loop. I think it's just like before. Yes, it, it should go into the for loop. Mm, I'm thinking that this would not work uh, if the list is empty. Well, but if the list is empty, then nothing should be checked. And in fact, the, the loops won't execute. The test is not useful if there are no elements in the list. That's right. So does this work for a list of... Um, animals Basically, I think I have to just in initialize this variable and then
So I'm going through each fox in the list, then mm, I iterate through the field until I don't find the fox. And then, if the fox is found, it is set to true. But if it's not found, then it should be set to false. Oh, okay, I get it. Now, okay, so how does this test work? So I iterate uh, through uh, each fox and I check whether I uh, that fox is present in the field And if it's present, then found fox will be true. So I can uh, check that found fox is true. But if there is no such fox in the field, then uh, found fox will remain false. And so uh, assert equals with throw an error. Okay. And the same is for the rabbit. So let's check if it works. Oh, I need to import. Oh, the foxes uh, how did they do that? Oh we to get foxes.
Oh, okay, this should be nested. Oh, okay, so it should be initialized. Right. Now let's test. There is an error. Hmm. Ah, yes. Or the rabbit is not found. Ah, uh, yeah. Or found rabbit equals found. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now they both pass. And that's it. So what I needed to do for the first test, to test that each uh, animal in the field is in the simulator's lists, uh, I uh, just uh, iterate through uh, the field and then for each animal that is in the field uh, I check w whether it is in one of the two lists Uh, for the opposite case, uh, for the opposite case, uh, I have to iterate through uh, it. The program has to uh, iterate through each uh, list and uh, for each of the animals in the list it tries to find it in the field by iterating over it and if it finds the uh, animal in the field, then uh, then I store in the found animal variable the the fact that uh, it was found, and so for each iteration, 
a check uh, if uh, it happens that uh, that animal is found in in the field. 